MOCA 2019, New Spline Tools, Magnetic and Freehand. MOCA splines can be created with the X-Spline or Bezier tools. Simply select the tool and click around the object. Right-click to close the shape, then adjust your tangents. Splines can be tracked to follow an object's motion or simply used for manual masking with keyframes. MOCA 2019 adds new spline creation tools for speed. If you have used MOCA before, note that I am working in the new MOCA Essentials workspace, but I can easily switch to classic mode to view all available tools. The Magnetic Spline tool is an edge snapping assistant that helps users fluidly create shapes with less clicking and tangent editing. It will follow the raster edges of your subject and convert them to fully editable vector masks. Just like this. When the magnetism gets lost, simply click to add an anchor point and let MOCA continue tracing the edge from that point. When you are close to the end, right click and the shape is converted to an X-spline. In this manner, we can quickly create splines with much less clicking. One of the most tedious aspects of Roto is defining points and adjusting tangent handles to best represent an object. Magnetism means less manual clicking and more time for being creative. While computers can help reduce heavy labor, the artist needs to make a final decision on spline placement. MOCA shapes are always editable once the edges have been placed, and as usual, MOCA masks export to all standard spline formats. Another new tool is the Freehand Spline tool. Sometimes you just want to draw a quick shape right onto your screen. For some simple shapes, it's often faster to simply draw the spline and deal with the handles afterwards. The freehand spline is just that. Draw a quick, fluid shape on one frame with one gesture using your tablet or mouse and it is converted to an X-spline for further adjustment and animation. Both the magnetic and freehand spline tools have a detail parameter. Once the spline is closed, we can select the tool's detail if we want to simplify the general shape, fitting with less tangents or more. So if I am using Mocha for some quick garbage matting to assist a color grading session, I might simply use the freehand spline tool to define some quick mask areas like this. It's all about time savings. The magnetic spline and freehand tools also work together, and we can actually switch between these modes while creating a single shape. This means that I can start by selecting the magnetic spline tool, but when I get to a similar color as the background like I do here, I can click and hold as I draw. This switches the tool from magnetism to freehand and is a very useful, organic way to work. We let the software find the edges but switch over to freehand when we hit a blurry or unclear edge. Note that if you are using the magnetic spline by the edge of the frame, it will automatically switch over to freehand so that you can smoothly roto objects that travel off screen. For rotoscoping a variety of shots, I sometimes use the magnetic tool and sometimes I focus on our classic X splines depending on the complexity of the line and how much roto I have to do. Both the magnetic and freehand tools have the Add to Layer button here. We use this when we want to subtract or add shapes to the same layer. Where the shapes overlap, they subtract, and where the shapes are side by side, they add. Another highly requested Mocha feature is our new Simple Geometric Shape Tools to quickly define which planar surfaces to track. Now users can create rectangles, ellipses, and perfect circles and squares as tracking layers and roto shapes with the ellipse and rectangle shape tools. A simple ellipse, or circle, can be used to track a face for witness protection without having to define a clean shape by hand. All I do is click, drag, and track my subject's face. And back in my host, I can apply a blur in moments. We can mix and match our basic shape tools too, so if you need to track the edges of a screen but want to avoid the reflection, you can set that up very quickly. With two keystrokes, you can create a rectangle and a second holdout using the Add Rectangular X Spline button. Then you can track your screen, save and close Mocha, and add an insert to your shot using the Mocha Pro interface in your host. The spline tools in Mocha Pro 2019 can be exported to a wide array of industry standard formats or rendered back to your host via the Mocha Pro plugin. The magnetic and freehand spline tools are now available in Mocha Pro 2019 and will be available in the future inside of the upcoming Boris Continuum and Sapphire 2019 releases. Don't forget, 
Mocha Pro 2019 also adds full support for VR video projects, and all of these new spline tools work in Mocha's unique 360-degree video workspace. To learn more about Mocha, visit us at www.borisfx.com.